So if I'd been alone, I would have I would have insisted on myself of just doing the whole first layer of gold on all of those that whole stack. Did oh, I, did I even show you my whole stack? I showed some of no. the other day. This was this is the rest of them. Wait, it's not are the rest of them. Are these thirty days? These, uh, these are drawings on boards. <laughs> This is for your thirty-day um, exercise that you're yeah, doing right now. Yeah, my twenty-eight days. This is actually more than this is actually more than I need. Okay. Because I added a, I added some other ones. Oh my head, things are coming off. I added some other ones um, re more recently, so I have more than I need. Because I'm halfway through the month already, so I really only need like I don't know ah uh, fourteen oh, fourteen more. <laughs> This thing, oh my God, I hate these headphones. <laughs> if you stop and consider how much you had to go out and photograph them and then how much time you spend in Photoshop and then you have to, you know, do your compositions on the on the panels and then you have to underpaint and have to pay. Oh, wow, the time, the yeah. time. Yeah, but all of those steps, all of those parts are so much fun. You know, the, the out, you know, the photographing is while I'm traveling or driving or walking somewhere and... And it's always exciting to to capture that that new material, you know, the new yes. new images that I don't already have, even if they're like ninety percent similar to fifty percent of my cow photos that I already have. It's still going to be a different cow, yes, a different day, yes. slightly different light. <laughs> so, and it's exciting for you, you know. It's, it's I neat when, a, I, when I can go home and look through all the photos because normally I, I don't have time to actually see what I'm taking when I'm there actually taking the pictures. I'm not really sure what I'm getting mm -hmm. most of the time. But when I get home. You were talking about, you know, trying to get close to some of the animals and how they, you know, they're, they're hard to get close to. I took a refrigerator box once and made a blind out of it. So I'm inside sweating <laughs> like crazy inside the cigarette box with my camera set up out the little hole that I made. And nothing's coming, nothing's coming. I'm like, what the heck? We always have lots of birds. Nothing's coming. My husband comes out and he and he says to me, he says, Linda, I go, shh, 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 you know, shh. And she's, he says, stick your head out the hole. I stick my head out the hole and there's my dog sitting right down there at the bottom waiting for me to come out of the box and none of the birds would come because of the dog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. They must think we're crazy, the dogs. <laughs> Next time you let the dog into the box with you. <laughs> it's too hot in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That is Thanks funny. For that. <laughs> I love your wrens, though. They're very special birds with those little tails that go flipping up in the air. Yeah. Are those wrens? I thought they were uh, sparrows. No, they're wrens with that little tail. Oh, okay. Well, then I was wrong about the sparrows. But... When I was I was remembering about sparrows, at the time that I was talking about these was when uh, when I first started working at Cedar Point Amusement Park when I was uh, I was like nineteen or twenty, and at that park, all the birds well, they're seagulls, but they're also like just tons of sparrows, and they're so used to coming down and eating all the food that people drop mm -hmm. when they're walking around that they'll like hop right up to you, and they're so used to people that when you were talking about how friendly the birds were in Australia. At, I was thinking, oh, that's that kind of sounds like the sparrows and at Cedar Point <laughs> that would come and eat the French fries and stuff. And I was going to have to say, you in order to do that here, you'd have to go to McDonald's and sit in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah. I've gotten some good well, photos. They're, they're of not birds. all friendly. Not all the birds. <laughs> yeah. there's, a few, there's a few that aren't too friendly. <laughs> Emus aren't friendly for one. Oh, yeah, I've heard <laughs> a little big. <laughs> <laughs> I was fascinated. I took all kinds of photos of their feet. Their feet just fascinated me. They're huge. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Expect some emu feet paintings from you, Linda. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just crop it right, and you'll get a really good composition. <laughs> with the light and the shadow. And you would come up with a really good name for that one. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. You are so good at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd probably just call my first emu feet painting em emu feet. <laughs> 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 just, just that kind of those, just those words together kind of sound funny. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I was going to the young man who had the emu lived in the, the little town we were in, and uh, so I could, I was right, you know, right next to this thing, and um, his 
you know, typical teenage boy sneakers were there. So I had the sneakers and the <laughs> side by side right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, that's pretty good. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like an interesting experience anyway, Linda. <laughs> I live a very boring life and I love hearing your stories. <laughs> <laughs> I live a boring life now too. <laughs> well, you Read should start painting some of that stuff, Linda. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She's been trying to push me to paint now for, I don't know, two years. <laughs> Ever since you started, I started with you. Yeah, you know, that's right. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'll get there. I'll get there. Just paint along on Saturday. Yes, yes. Um, I've the, never done that. I've never painted along. The dove? Yeah. But, yeah. I love doves. Oh, they're color. But you have a white bird. Yeah. That's okay. what makes it more fun because then the shadows are all bluish. True. I love the colors of the morning doves. They're just, oh, they're gorgeous. The real watercolor type oh, of painting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ones with all the iridescent blues mm -hmm. and purples and... Yeah. Or we, we have sparrows and pigeons. <laughs> Occasionally blackbirds, what? And quail. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But are blackbird <laughs> ravens? Are they the same thing as a raven? I think I think that ravens uh, are bigger. Okay. I think actually that ravens uh, when we call blackbirds, I think that um our particular blackbirds are called grackles. Oh, I and it's a type of blackbird, and a raven is a type of blackbird, and a crow is a type of blackbird, because they're all, I guess, blackbirds. But, and um, scavengers, too. Yeah, and scavengers. Yeah, but red ours are kind of probably about, their bodies are probably about this big, and then with their with their tails, they might be about this long. Yeah. Oh. They're not really, they're have... not as big as ravens. We have seen, I've oh. seen some ravens around here, too, from time to time, but not they're not very common. Because we get the big ravens here. So if you ever want photos of ravens, I can get, I can get you ravens. <laughs> we ravens. Cool. Yeah. We can big, get you a, a really bird. weird bird. It's called a cowbird. Oh yeah. It has, it has a different. It has a brownish head on a dark body. So it looks like it's two birds that were cut put together. <laughs> and they're horrible birds because they don't raise their young. They put all of their eggs in other nests, huh. and they're they're slightly oh. large. And what they do is the the, the poor little chickadee, which is a small little black and white bird, he will raise the cowbird baby thinking it's his, but consequently the chickadee's babies are killed. Oh. They're not oh. fed, they're, but they're killed. They're not fed in some way, they're, they're killed. And uh, so the cowbirds are horrible. They're awful. They, they take over all these nests. And they just put one or two in all the different nests. They don't fill up a nest with eggs. They go to all the nests. And, the story was that they used to go with the buffalo, so they never had a chance to stay in one place to build a nest. Huh. I don't know. But anyway, they're pretty ugly. <laughs> never yeah. heard of them. I kind of heard of those too. But then what is that bird that's, uh, that? what is that white bird that I see with cows all the time? Like, I don't know. I see them out in the fields with the cows, and they're white birds. They almost look like some kind of sea bird because they have a long beak and long legs. And they're oh, white. I like a seagull. Egrets. The egrets? No. no. E egr they, egrets go with, with them? the cows? I see them like they stand on the cows and pick off the leaves. Yeah, in leaves Florida, or something. They, they hang out with the horses. Huh. I would imagine they're they not would. as big as like the egrets I've seen are big. These are like, these are like maybe well, this big. Well, that could well, be an egret. I'm sure they're egrets. species, that, you know, subspecies of huh. egrets. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I love, it when like... they, I, when I love it when I get a, pictures of cows and that. I get out just in time to see all those white birds taken off, and then I can like snap and try to get some pictures of the birds in flight. That's probably oh, wow. Cool. You know how uh, people who just start painting, well, they'll make that little V to make birds in the oh. sky. You okay? I have a, I had a friend, an artist friend, who absolutely hated that type of thing. And uh, I went and got some photos for her printed, but I got some extras. And I took a black pen, and I put the little V in her photos, in a couple of the, of the photos. So she's going through her things, and she's going, I don't remember painting that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then she then she starts beating on me. <laughs> she had a little geese in the sky. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you, Rita, for tonight. I'm going to get yes. off. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all for yeah. coming. Thank it was fun. Thank you, Rita. See you this weekend. Yes. Bye. Bye. Wonderful. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.